drawing AME4, it may be kind of tricky to draw one continuous polyline that describes the outline of this shape. So what I'm suggesting you do is draw a circle and a rectangle. And in this case, I've drawn my circle red and my rectangle yellow. You don't have to do that, but I'm just showing you uh, so you can see that these are two separate objects and uh, what effect uh, making them into a polyline uh, will have on these uh, two objects. So after drawing the rectangle and the circle, let's use the trim command to trim out the parts that we don't need to construct this outline. So I've selected both of these objects and then I'm clicking uh, the top part of the circle to trim it and I'm clicking the middle part of the top part of the yellow rectangle to trim that out. But you'll notice after, they're after they have been trimmed, they are still two separate objects and they're not one continuous polyline. If we tried to extrude these right now, we wouldn't see a solid object. Let's go ahead and try the extrude command now and see the effect. So I'm going to extrude and I'm going to pick the red arc that's left and the yellow uh, lines that are left from the rectangle that was trimmed. And now when I extrude this, you're going to see that it's not as solid, that it's see-through. It's uh, the front part, there's no uh, uh, surface on the front part. So we need to fix that. So I'm going to undo that extrusion. And I'm going to use, in the Modify panel, I want to click down and choose the Edit Polyline command. I want to click on the red arc. It'll tell me, AutoCAD will tell me, this is not a polyline. Do we want to turn it into one? Yes, we do. Once we have the red arc turned into a polyline, we want to join the yellow rectangle so that it becomes part of the red arc. So when we click on the yellow line, one of the yellow lines, you can see it all turns red, which means this is now a continuous polyline. Once we're done with that, we can just hit Enter. Now we can extrude it. So if we choose the Extrude command, we can choose that as one continuous polyline. And when we extrude this back one and a half inches now, we'll see that it has a solid surface on front and it's now a solid model. 